Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas. So first of all, I'm going to show you just basically the edible things. So I got some Haribo Tan Fastics. Yes, I did. Tang Fastics. I did say that right. Haribo Tan Fastics. I got some Dairy Milk Buttons. I also got some Maltesers and some Minstrels. I'm hoping I'm hoping I'm showing you those the right way. Maltesers. I got two tubes of Jelly Tots. Ugh, jelly Tots. One which I have already eaten, so that can go in the bin. Um, I also got some fruit pastels which still haven't eaten, and another box of Minstrels. Is it ridiculous? I have a little sack. Just for food which is from my auntie and uncle i just want to mention that i fully appreciate everything i got for christmas like i don't under appreciate anything i think the thing i enjoy about christmas is giving i love seeing people's faces once i've given them a present that they didn't expect especially um so i just want to mention i just as i say i just want to say that i just want to thank everybody who got me a present and i fully appreciate everything you've bought me so that's the disclaimer for the video. Me and my sister did get some presents which are kind of both of ours, so like they're shared, so it said to Claire and Katie on it. I'm just gonna show you those first and then I'll show you everything else that I got. Last year, it's kind of become a tradition now, but last year me and my sister got the first book of Girl Online by Zoella or Zoe Sug. And this year we got Girl Online on tour. So it's the second book in the series. I'm not sure if she's going to be um, releasing any others, but um, I was like, yes, finally, I can I can get to read the second book. But what I noticed about this is it's from Waterstones, and you get a bonus chapter in it. So thank you very much, Santa. We got the Tanya candy palette, candy glam palette. Get that right. I haven't yet tried any of Tanya Burr's um, makeup range except for the nail polish that I bought myself. I'm excited to try this because it has everything in it. So you have like the eyeshadows, um, we have a blusher and we have a bronzer and we also have a lip gloss. I'm excited to use all of these. The colours in these are just stunning. Um, well, the colour range you get are just stunning. And I love the, na the, like, the, the names of them, like baking brownies and like... Um, Plumberry, I love that colour, it looks stunning, I cannot wait to try it out. Even Snowflake, it's, it's, they're just pretty names. But we also got the Harry Potter Trivia Pursuit game. We've took the cardboard out, which kind of probably wasn't a good idea because it just moves all over the place, but we'll probably take it out. So we got this from my best friend Katie, and it just basically comes with a dice and um, a pack of cards in this cute little triangle pie shaped. Um, holder. The other thing we got was Once Upon a Time and this is the fourth season? Yes, this is the fourth season. We have the first three seasons on DVD and we kind of get them every year now. It's kind of a, tradi a tradition as well at Christmas. Since the last one was a DVD I'm gonna just basically go into all the DVDs that I got from for Christmas. So the next one is kind of also a tradition to get every year because it's normally released near Christmas time, near December. So um, this is the Vampire Diaries and it's the sixth season. There's only one more season left to get on DVD guys and I cannot wait to see how it ends. Um, this is the last season that Nina Dotebrev did so I'm, it's nice that she's in the foreground on the cover. I also got Begin Again. I had this on my Christmas list last year, but I completely forgot about it because I didn't get it for Christmas. And then I remembered it this year and I put it on my list again and I finally got it. Guys, this is such a good film if you love just that raw sense or raw sound of music. That It just portrays that meaning of music and especially why I love it and... I love films as well, so it just, it, it just portrays that raw love and passion for music. That's what I'm trying to get, that's what I'm trying to say. One that I was really hoping to get was this baby. It is the Paper Towns movie, and not just that, it's my my paper journey. 
Um, I haven't actually opened the DVD, it's quite heavy, the, the case, but this is a slip case. So you have the DVD underneath. And I'm assuming there's something else in there, which I haven't actually opened yet. Um, but this is pretty cool, it's Velcro, the cover of this, and you open it up and it pretty much has the map of the United States, which is awesome. I mean, it has everything on there, it's just, it's just really nice, like paper, you know, paper towns, paper map, yeah. The last DVD I got was The Longest Ride. This film is beautiful, I absolutely love it like it's oh, I just if you haven't seen it go watch it but I did get a few presents from some friends that I met through Twitter I think this has also become a tradition where we send presents to each other and it's just it just feels really nice to do that this year um, my friend Andrew sent me these gorgeous cute little Thornton cupcakes this one is kind of like melted so <laughs> I better start eating these quick these quick otherwise they're just gonna like melt everywhere. And along with that from Andrew I got my favourite perfume of all time. I already have a box of this and a box of the, the other bombshell one. It's like a bombshell something else. I can't remember. But Victoria's Secret bombshell, the original, is just... Thank you so much Andrew. You know how much I love this perfume and Oh, it's just heaven. Like seriously guys, it's my favourite perfume of all time. The next person who I got presents from was the lovely Courtney. We have been doing this for three years now. I think this is our third year and giving presents to each other or sending presents to each other. And she manages to surprise me every year. So the first thing she got me was a box of Heroes. And again, they're still full and not been opened. Chocolates in here. And it's January. It's only a week, but still. I'm quite surprised I've lasted this long without not eating them. And she also sent me, not one, but two things from Lush. Like, I was like, what? I really, really fully appreciate what you got me, Courtney. Like, I cannot emphasize that enough. So I mentioned to Courtney that I went on a Lush haul, and as you previously have seen, I did go on a Lush haul. And the only, like, the couple of things I didn't get, which I really regret not getting, she got me for Christmas, which, oh, just thank you so much. So she picked up the Rose Jam for me, um, and this is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. It freaking smells beautiful. I was going to get, I was wanting to get the Snow Fairy one, but I already had some Snow Fairy things, so I kind of wanted the Rose Jam one, and she bought it for me, and it's beautiful but yeah thank you so much for that I also got the Lush um, bath bomb and this is the luxury Lush put I'm just so thankful Courtney got it me like seriously Courtney thank you 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 it is it like it was at the top of my sack um, of presents and I could just smell it and I was like right I'm gonna open that first because I already kind of know what that is and and it smells divine. It's got a little holly leaf and it's just really multicoloured and I can imagine that this is just going to go crazy rainbow in my bath. I just cannot wait to use that. Courtney went and bought me a Revolution colour block and in this colour block, so it's a, it's a um, box of makeup, so that's what it looks like. You get a lip gloss a lipstick and a nail polish. So I haven't yet tried any of Revolution's um, lipsticks, lip glosses or nail polishes so this is kind of a quite a good deal for me. So yeah, thank you so much Courtney, I am so going to use these. From my darling beautiful sister, she went and as I said, I said this was going to pop up but she bought me the Zoe, Zoella, Zoella Soap Pop Stick. Um, with the question on the back that says my favourite place is and I cannot wait to use this to find out what the answer is. The next thing she got me was this festive spice fragrance diffuser and this I spotted in next whilst looking for my basket if you remember from my vlog and she went and picked this up for me and oh, it's gonna just smell beautiful. My house, my house, my bedroom's just gonna smell of cinnamon and spices all around 
all year round because you'll see why in a few moments. The last thing was a surprise because these were sold out like everywhere the running weeks up to Christmas and I didn't manage to get one myself but apparently my dad went chasing around the whole of Leicester trying to find these pretty much but it is the Lind Lindor limited edition orange chocolates like I know last year they did the blue um, cookies and cream but this year they did the orange one and I think they did one more one other one I can't remember what that one's called but I cannot wait to try these um, I love orange and chocolate they are like my favorite things in the world same as peanut butter and chocolate it's just they were all from Claire so thank you so much Claire next thing I got was another diffuser from my uncle and auntie um, my cousin Natasha which you've already met if you've watched the previous video this is from her parents. They got me the Hey Rumi Rediffuser by Zoella again. I think I have like all of her new range now. <laughs> it is ridiculous, apart from the big bags because I think they're a bit overpriced. Wood accents, sweet vanilla and soft floral notes. It smells heavenly. Okay, now on to books. So these are the first two books in the um, Forsaken series and the third book came out with a completely different cover and I put it off for ages. I put it off for a while because I was kind of waiting for um, the matching cover to these but it was never released. I eventually put a pluck to the courage and put it on my list because I really needed the third book to finish the series. So the third book is called The Defiant. So yeah, that was one of them. The next one was a cute little diary. I really like the quote on the front one. The the kind of lettering on the front of this it says create your own jet create your own story and when I was much younger I used to write my own stories so maybe this will encourage me to write a new story the next two books I so 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 really wanted for Christmas because again completion of a, of a book series is like amazing when that happens this is the last book in the Luna Chronicles this series from what I've heard is freaking amazing and the size of this looks so exciting because I think this is the largest might be the second largest and the other book I got was Six of Crows and this is the black page edition I didn't even know they did a black page edition um, I've never I think I only have one of the book with like coloured pages but I never normally go for these because I'm scared that the, the black would rub, rub off on your fingers which it doesn't seem to be on my fingers. Oh, well, that's quite good to know. This sounds so good. It says six dangerous outcasts, one impossible heist. I'm so happy I got this and I cannot wait to read all these books. Yet again, another book full year where I'll be reading so much. Next thing I got was from the Disney store. Oh my goodness. Inside this cutely Christmas package box. Oops. It's a load of Disney wrapping! Yay! So I got the Lion King mug. Oh, not just the Lion King mug though, it's Simba and it's got all these pretty cute drawing designs of Simba on them like um, when they were sketching him out for the movie. It is amazingly just right up my street and stunning. It's just beautiful and it's just a really big mug as well, which I don't really have a really big mug, but this is a really big mug to not only just have hot chocolates in, but soups. I got a candle for Christmas. My dad bought me the Sparkling Cinnamon Christmas Edition candle. It is like beyond amazing. I think I mentioned this, I think it was in my Yankee Candle haul, the small votive of the Sparkling Cinnamon, and I told you I was addicted to it as soon as I got it. Well my dad heard me. Sparkling cinnamon so it smells like fireballs and um, the jawbreaker fireballs. It is insanely strong and so 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 festive and so nice it's just but it's just beautiful. I got two things from my gran. My gran got me a Topshop li lipstick which I have never ever tried and I've been wanting to try it for years and she got me the infrared lipstick. It is just stunning 
it is just a beautiful colour and I cannot wait to use this. I love using oranges um, around the springtime and summertime so it shall be worn around that time. So I have the Zoeva One Wish lipstick and I really wanted to try one of their palettes and the palette my grand went and got me was the Coco Blend palette. It is freaking amazing. So it comes in this gorgeous slipcase, same gold packaging and inside here are the beautiful, beautiful, stunning shades. Um, beautiful, stunning selection of shades there. Oh, I just love it and I love the fact that they each have these little captions and I just cannot wait to get some more palettes because they're just gorgeous guys. We are on to the very last things guys. It's been a long haul. <laughs> My sister's best friend Bethan very kindly bought me two lip glosses that I wanted from the Tanya Burr range and she got me berry picking and I found Nemo. So thank you so much Bethan, I will appreciate these and will use them to the best of my ability. And I also got from my lovely mother, I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally have one of these. I'm just over the moon. So this is the By Terry Ombre Black Star Eyeshadow Stick and um, I got, my mum got this, my mum got this for me in my favourite shade and the packaging is just stunning, it is just very high quality and uh, feels high quality. Um, let me take the lid off and there is the eyeshadow. It is just insanely gold, like there's, there's not toned down, it's just pure gold. It's over the moon that I got this for Christmas and I just fully, fully, really really appreciate it. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have one of these. So Santa got me the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's this gorgeous burgundy purple um, silver packaging. I love the brush. This brush looks amazing. Like its bristles are just there's so many and I think my eyes are going to be fully back black from those. I cannot tell you how like over the moon I am to finally have these. I'm just going to say that for every single thing of <laughs> these last few things because they are, I'm just, I can't believe it. So yes guys, as you can see, kind of like down here, I finally have the Urban Decay Naked Palette number one. And the colours in these are absolutely incredible, like stunning and I'm just so happy to have it. I'm not going to open these because I will probably use them and show you in a different video because um, I am planning to do some makeup tutorials and some just exciting new projects in the future. And not only did I get the Naked Palette 1, I got the Naked Palette 3. And these are my favourite two palettes out of the three palettes because the number two, I don't know, it's kind of similar to the first one. So that's why I'm so happy I got this one. This is kind of like a rose gold um, tone on their palettes and I just love every shade and uh, Again, I cannot, I cannot emphasise how excited I am. Yeah, so Naked Palette 1 and Naked Palette 3. I am going to be going makeup crazy. <laughs> this is in the family present sack and these were wrapped together. And the label said, this is two dads and Katie. I know we, we both have these already, or this already, but this is a completely different version. It was something along those lines and I was like, what the heck is he talking like, what's, what's he on about? My dad likes to put all these creative clues on our presents and they are so clever and I do love it. And it's kind of like a family tradition tradition to read the quotes that he puts on them or the little notes or clues he puts on them. It just makes Christmas so more exciting. But it's the Taylor Swift 1989 Chinese? Japanese. I think it's the Japanese. The Japanese version, it comes with this, the album CD and the DVD and I don't know what's on the DVD because it's behind this Japanese writing but I'm guessing it's kind of like videos and behind the scenes but oh, seriously guys I'm so excited and it's not just it's not just the standard it's the deluxe but I cannot wait to open this and I get more Polaroids inside even though I already had the full collection. I now have the deluxe, the standard and then the Japanese version that comes with the DVD so Seriously, Dad, you surprise me every year, and I just can't thank you enough for getting me this. This is 
like I didn't even expect this at all and it's just amazing that that dad thought about me and thought about getting this for him and myself. I think that's it. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being with us throughout the whole of 2015. I cannot believe we are in 2016. Where has this year gone? Um, I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you've all had a wonderful New Year's and I'm, we are just so excited to um, see what 2016 holds for us and I'm gonna say goodbye now because I've been talking for way too long. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I will see you guys next time and well, that's it. 